The recently formed high-level committee tasked with evaluating the Indian Air Force's fighter jet acquisition strategy is considering repeat orders for 36 Rafale fighter jets in F-4 configuration as an interim measure, before the 114 MRFA gains final approval. Russia will deliver the 4th S-400 squadron to the Indian Air Force in March 2026, and the 5th and last squadron in October 2026. Delhi-based DG Propulsion has successfully conducted the test run of its indigenous 1 kN engine. Tanbo Imaging has delivered second lot of Arjun Thermal Imaging sites for medium machine guns to the Indian Army. India's Project 77 New Generation Nuclear Attack Submarines will feature an entirely new hull design, with expanded dimensions advanced hydrodynamics and improved acoustic signature management. The Indian Army has recently achieved 88% self-reliance in ammunition production, marking a significant milestone in its efforts to reduce dependence on imports. Brahmos Aerospace is in advanced negotiations with the Philippines Army for a separate larger Brahmos missile deal, tailored to their specific operational needs. The Indian Army has inducted additional units of the Polaris Razor Pro XP4 high-performance all-terrain vehicles, that are eight times stronger than before, to meet demands of modern warfare across varied trains. Hindustan Aeronautics had formed a contract negotiation committee early this month to conclude the F-414 deal with the US by end of March 2025. HAL has requested General Electric to submit a few technical documents for evaluation of the depth of transfer of technology, and it is agreed by both the parties to continue cost negotiations committee discussions in four phases including the transfer of technology, along with an assessment of the depth of technology being transferred that is up to 80% of the value of the engine. The rough order values around $1 billion at the 2023 price level, and it is premature to conclude that there would be serious cost escalation. Amid the delay of 84 kN F-404 Ion-20 engines, General Electric has proposed an interim solution to Hindustan Aeronautics, offering the low-thrust 78.7 kN F-404 GE-102 engines currently manufactured by Samsung TechWin for the Korean T-50 Advanced Trainer and Boeing Saab T-7 Red Hawk. HAL would not need to buy these engines outright but could use them on a temporary basis, and once the new engines are available, the lower thrust versions could be swapped out. While the US Navy has surplus F-404 engines from its older Rafay 18 Hornets, but these are not optimized for single-engine fighter operations, making the Samsung Tequin engines a more fitting choice for this specific application. The Indian multi-role helicopter is projected to cost approximately $30 million per unit, which represents a 61% increase over the base price of the Russian Mi-17 V-5 helicopters, that the IMRH will replace. Despite the higher cost, the IMRH promises to deliver advanced engine technology, enhanced safety features, and technical advancements like cutting-edge sensors, superior payload capacity and improved mission versatility. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.